be well, so cruel. Well, this came up at the dinner table conversation. Apparently, JC dug deep into the whole thing and found some interesting little factoids here that may be something people <laughs> well, can at least discuss. He started getting looking at ethnocentric data regarding disease vectors and uh, <laughs> he's, noted... He's such an exciting man to hang around. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting to me. Yeah, to me too, I'm just saying. So he found that there was a lot, number of papers written, and this is just preliminary, This I, and I'd like to see some more evidence of this, but I'm just going to tell you the preliminary look at this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of evidence that coronavirus in particular is more susceptible by Chinese than by Caucasians because yes. of the same. Yes, I've the, seen this. the same foot, the same phenomenon that makes it so Chinese can smoke a lot. There's a couple of cells in the lungs that are, are good for fixing lung damage. Those same cells are the ones that the coronavirus attaches itself to. Yes. And it tends to be not just Chinese, though, which makes it interesting. No, also Japanese, but, I think. But, but the main target is Han Chinese. Wow, that's pretty specific. We started talking about it. It, was, it went like this. Oh, Adam read a note from one of our producers talking about this big, big programming operation. And all the programmers are staying away from the Chinese. Yes. You know, they're all huddling anywhere, but they don't want to be hanging out with the Chinese yeah. coders. And J JC starts off by saying, for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. That helps. Now, the Health and Human Services Secretary, Anzar, he's, I think he's in trouble somehow with this. I mean, he is, he's waffling and floating around the way he says stuff. Listen to Anzar has a tell and a truth wants to come out moment in 39 seconds. So, Ed, we've actually been very transparent about what we do not know yet about <clears throat> about this virus. Which... <laughs> wow. <laughs> we've actually been very transparent. <laughs> so, Ed, we've actually been very transparent about what we do not know yet about <clears throat> about this virus, which is we don't know full information about its contagiousness, about its severity profile, which is why I'm delighted that at the invitation of the Chinese government, uh, we will accept the invitation to participate as part of the World Health Organization's team of experts that will deploy to China to assist Chinese experts on the ground to actually get ground truth to study this virus, get all the information to both help the spread, to prevent the spread further in China of it. <laughs> this guy's wow. <laughs> Uh, you got the clip of the day for finding that one. I think I deserve it in this case. <laughs> clip of the day. <laughs> a double whammy. Now, that's a double. You got the tell, the <laughs> cough, and you got the, the slip. <laughs> got to wow. help the spread, man. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, who? <laughs> so that, that kind of sounds a bit like something that might have been bioengineered. Who knows? Naturally occurring substances do evolve. Do that too, yeah. On their sure. own, and then they you just have to be the unlucky winner. <laughs> and you're a winner, and you're a winner. I got myself a case of Wuhan flu. I don't know what I am supposed to do. Didn't know I had it when I gave it to you. Now we all got the Wuhan flu. <laughs> there you go. Well, the point that if it is not, if you can't get rid of it once you get it, you have, you're just you're forever. You're uh, it's more like herpes. Yeah, it sounds like a lot like herpes. You can't get rid of it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, on no agenda.